the Delanese yet. It's only part of the prayer. We arrive in Calais after visiting many North Sea coastal ports, waiting for a week for a good weather window and working through the logout bureaucracy and COVID restrictions. Getting the boat ready. Everything is tied down. The rudder reflector is affixed on the roof. It's a full moon, so a strong tide. We move to a boy in the outer harbor for the night to be ready to leave early morning. At the crack of dawn, we set off radioing port control to leave the harbor. We are told to follow the small fishing boat that is leaving after the big ferry. The sun rises and we leave the port. We follow the marker boys out past the sandbars. The weather is calm, we practical no waves in. We are nearly home. After traveling through 13 countries and more than 7,000 kilometers, we left five years ago. We have the GPS map and the compass to follow. Starting to enter the big boat lanes, we see them lining up in the distance. There have quite a few of them. We have to cross at 90 degrees, so it's a judgment for behind or in front of each ship. The fast ferries have their own path, which we try to stay out of. As it's so calm, it's relatively easy to thread our way through. We spot our first rescue boat. We are through the boats heading up the channel and are now heading into the flow heading into the channel. The rip from the big French rescue boat comes to say hello. They were very entertained. They are friendly and amused to check out our lifeboat. They are shadowing a refugee boat heading for England. We are not needed for help. The UK Border Force boat is heading our way, but they are picking up a refugee boat that was drifting to our other side. Bring the people on board and towing them back to port. The back of their boat is crowded with refugees. An English fishing boat comes past. In the same day that we crossed, the weather was so favorable that there were 1,111 refugees crossing. The White Cliffs of Dover! Round the corner and into Hern Bay, the tides pushing us up the coast. The tide has been favorable for the crossing and is still flowing to Ramsgate, so we decide to make the extra distance directly there rather than stop at Dover. We took us six hours to Dover and then another two hours to get to Ramsgate. So our maximum speed was 15 kilometers an hour when we were coming out of Calais, as we had the current and the tide favorable to us. And then we did four kilometers into Ramsgate because we had the tide against us and the current against us. So it was quite, quite a fight to get into, into Ramsgate, yeah. All the stress is off as we come inside the shelter of the outer harbor. A quick VHF call to ask to enter the port and we are moored up. I head into London to work and Hamish is left to wait for a weather window to jump round the corner and into the medway. 